All right, everybody. Thanks for dealing with my long break, and I am back. So we played regionals yesterday with Mantle Drowsy. I didn't do as well as I wanted to. I got 33rd on breakers. Um, pretty close, honestly. I had uh, two losses, one to Affinity and one to um, Blue Red Phoenix, and then I tied against a weird mono white deck. So um, not bad overall. My teammate, Andrew, got first, uh, that's first, uh, second place at the tournament. And then our other teammate, Blake, got uh, uh, 20th. So that was pretty awesome. Um, so I'm doing some different decks, testing things around, seeing what I want to play for the Open coming up. Um, right now, I uh, thought a fun deck would be this uh, Thalia Eldrazi Stompy deck. Uh, this has been around for a bit, um, and there was a recent post on Reddit about it, so I thought it'd be worth it to give it a shot. Um, the deck has, um, the, for the land base here, 25 lands, we got two caverns, four temples, three gemstone caverns, we got some ghost quarters, canopies, a bunch of planes, chef at dunes, and a waste. Um, and then... This deck has no one drops because we are on Chalice of the Void um, with Simeon Spirit Guy, as you can see. So then we go right into the two drops with Arbiters and Thalias, and then a one of Warping Whale. Um, we have Displacers and then th um, Big Thalia and then Dismembers. And then we get to, get to do some fun interaction with a Displacer like Thought Not Seer, uh, Reality Smasher, Endbringer is here as well. And then we get to bounce their stuff, obviously, to get some great value. Hey, Jingy. Thanks for joining us, man. Um, then over in the sideboard, we have two Stonies, two Warships, a Cast Out, two Rest in Peace. Um, or no, three Rest in Peace. Sorry, that's the... Uh, two, three Rest in Peace, two Takatals. Um, we got Declaration of Stone, Warping Whales, a Revoker, and a uh, Sorcerer Spyglass. So this deck looks pretty fun. It looks like it's going to prey on the meta really well. That was the other reason I wanted to play it out. So without much further ado, we're going to jump into a league here. And as if you guys haven't caught on yet, if I select my first time playing a deck, I'll usually do a friendly league just to get the a better feel for it. Like right now we're doing a friendly league, but if I have played with the, um, the deck a couple times, I will do a, um, a competitive league just so the stakes are a little bit higher, the rewards are better, um, and most reasonable modern decks can go 3-2, so... Yeah, so overall, our, our cars that went to uh, Chicago did really well. Like, a lot of players on our team were just one win out of um, top 32. And uh, a bunch of players were just um, an earlier win. Let me turn that down. An earlier win um, out of a top 16 or potentially top, top 8, which is pretty sweet. Alrighty, so we are on the draw. Gives more value out of this gemstone mine. I mean, the gemstone caverns. Doesn't seem bad. We could pitch the Thalia, drop the planes, play a, um, a Thalia turn one, and then if we can get another land, we can ditch the Simeon Spirit Guide and go right into a Thought Knot. So that seems pretty good. Let's try this out. This pile is dope. I don't think you've ever seen anything better. <laughs> All right, we're gonna swing in with this Thalia. All right, we're gonna tap this for mana, play this other gemstone, keep the new one, tap that for mana. Exile that, drop this thought knot. Oh, 
hopefully they don't have a response because we just burnt a lot of resources for this play. <laughs> yes! They're good. Okay, they got an interesting list here. Um, they're going to be able to play this Helix. And they've got the Swiss Spear. I think the only thing we truly care about is the is the Helix. Because let's see, Snapcaster is going to be pretty far off from doing anything of value. Spell Pierce just doesn't matter. Um, Swiss Spear could come down, but they've got two of those. Do we care about getting rid of one? I don't think we do. I think we're going to just get rid of the, the, the Helix and then shipping it back. So we're just going to go in and swing here. They dropping, yeah, they're dropping another mentor. We'd love to see another land. No land. We're not that cool. Okay. So they've got three cards in hand. They got a spell pierce, a snapcaster, and then one unknown. If we swing with thought not here, they'd have to give up both of their um, mentors. Because they shouldn't be able to cast a spell unless they have a gut shot for some reason. So that was good. Got an attack in. They're down to six. Um, we're in a rough spot now, though, because they're gonna if they have a chain of spells to go off, they're gonna get a lot of tokens, and I don't know how we're gonna deal with just a giant array of tokens, other than this smasher that we don't seem to have lands for. So, whew, no land. Okay. So let's still swing with this uh, thought knot. Seems pretty good for them. I can definitely throw a mentor and like a monk or a delver in front of our thought knot now. Let's see how they want to oh, they just want to chump. We are cool with that. I think we're going to drop this big Thalia into play. And we'll pass it over. Drop Chalice on one. Oh wait, no, we don't want to drop Chalice on one right now. It's going to just get spell pierced if we do that. So let's run out a displacer. Alright, so if we swing with Thought Knot here, I feel like Thought Knot's the card that's gonna get um, pathed. So it's not going to be really important to swing with that. I don't think we really want to swing with Thalia either. So I think we're just going to ship. If they want to path us, I'd be okay with that right now, I guess. Just because I need the extra land. So they're going to hit our Thought Not as expected. We're going to get a land. They're going to draw a card. We are going to grab a... Do we need the waste? 
I guess we don't mind grabbing it in case we draw another like gemstone. So we can start blinking away their toe. Oh my gosh, another path. They're so good at this. Oh, they're gonna path Thalia though. Okay, okay. And they're gonna be able to snap path on this turn, getting rid of, uh... this isn't good. Uh, so like they can like snap path our Thalia heretic and then they're gonna have a really impressive board to swing in on us. So, not great. On the upside, if they don't kill us, uh, on our turn, we'll just drop Smasher and kill them. So that's cool. So hopefully they know not to swing all out. We can block one Monk if they have all Paras. This is gonna be eight, 11. 17 so if he only gets one prowess trigger we could win the game because they will be tapped out so that's cool so let's see what they do are they just gonna pass They're swinging. We're gonna do some blocking. Snap capture tap. They're gonna get the path. Want to path one of our dudes? I don't know why you wouldn't do that before you swing though, because you would have got more damage in. I would like to use path's ability. Well, here they don't die. <laughs> if we play Smasher and Swing, we'll still be able to blink one thing, and then they have they would have to block the cement, uh, the Displacer, and then we die. Is that what's gonna happen here? Because they just have to cast like one spell, and we're dead. So that's not good. And I think we're dead also if we don't do anything, because if we just play Thought Knot and exile a card other hand or Reality Smasher and just pass turn, I think we're dead as well. So let's Smasher. I think we're dead either way here. Because even if we blink their Mentor here, they could still block our Displacer and, and then we would only get 5 damage in, putting them at 1. If we sit back, we can go block, block, blink one thing, take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess there's like the tiniest glimmer of hope that we wouldn't die um, if they don't have a spell to cast. So we should have Settle the Wreckage in this deck. Settle the Wreckage doesn't seem bad at all, so... Not opposed to that. I pulled this list um, exactly from the Reddit thread. So we'll see how that plays out. Chart the course means we're dead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and concede there. All right, so for this deck, well, what we're going against, 
Um, rest in Peace has some value against the Snapcaster, but I don't think it's that worth it. Um, they cast out so you can also hit their um, their creatures, but the Declaration in Stone is like the biggest one that I feel is worth bringing in. And I almost feel like that might be the only thing we're going to bring in here. Just to take out all their stuff. Um, would be cool. Um, I think I want to take out the Warping Whale because it feels like out of what we saw, the only thing that was worth hitting was either Tokens, Delver, or um, the Snapcaster. And if that Delver flips, that's going to be a pretty low value. I think the rest of our deck is in a pretty good spot. So let's run that. Double Temple and a Caverns? Oh my gosh, this is great. We're going to keep this. We're going to Temple and pass it over. This hand is nuts! So the rest of the hand, we got cantrips and then mentors. So we're just gonna take the mentor. They got a bolt. So that means they got a flipped delver. Casting that serum. So we're going to name human here. And we're just going to drop this smasher. And swing. Caverns, we're gonna name Ultrazi. Smasher doing smasher things. Some metamorphos. Pat, that's so rude about it. Dismember the inside aberration. They block the thought knot. They're still alive. If we don't, they can double block and kill one. That's fine. We'll let them see if they want to double block. Um, and the only thing they have left in their hand is a bolt. So depending on how they block, we can. I don't think it should matter. Yeah, that's fine. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna keep our thought knot alive and just kill this aberration. Game. Let's run it again. Like, debatably, we should be bringing in the warship here. Um, and then that way, like, if it doesn't seem like they have a way to deal with it, so they might just lose from that.
Okay, so this hand's pretty sweet. So we get to go gemstone uh, caverns. Um, I'm probably gonna discard the the thought knot here. So then we can go to a turn one Leonin Arbiter, and then turn two drop a Thalia. So it's either that or we ditch the um, dismember, which doesn't seem bad either. Because then Thought Knot should be pretty awesome. Yeah, let's di let's dish to this member because I, I want to keep Thought Knot. I love Thought Knot. It's like one of my favorite cards. Let's see what they got going on. If they can deal with this Arbiter, man, they don't have fetches. Man, there goes, there goes Arbiter. What a sad day. All right, we got Thalia. We got a Mentor. We're gonna kill that Mentor. Oh wait, we have to wait on our turn. Because of Thalia. We do not want that to get out of hand. There we go. Sorry, Thalia. And drop a Delver. We're gonna drop this Arbiter. And then get rid of their white source. Don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Oh man, they flipped. Chart the course, draw some cards, it's our turn. Alright, we're gonna drop this chalice for one. Beats with the Arbiter. And then next turn we'll drop the slot knot. Steam vents. They're gonna get their land. And then drop this thought knot. One drop, one drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. Let's get rid of the Manomorphos. All right, we got them on a two turn clock right now. I don't think if it matters right now to activate that chef at dunes. Um, it's risky if they go to. Hmm. So like if, if we we can't activate the canopy, I don't think for mana because I have a feeling that that's gonna cost us the game if they go helix on us. Um, I guess we're gonna drop the canopy though and see if we can just swing and kill them. Snapcaster. We 
getting target helix, that doesn't matter. Yeah, so we can't activate a canopy because we activate a canopy to buff to use the Chef of Dunes. We'll die on the crackback from that. So we'll have to trade here. Let's draw a card. Oops. And we pretty much just need them not to get a helix. Gonna get countered upon it. Bolt's gonna get countered upon it. <laughs> Victory. Starting off strong. One to no. Yeah, this deck seems pretty fun. So, I like it so far. This is the deck that I'm uh, honestly considering for the Cleveland Open if the meta stays the way it's at. Um, I liked Bant Eldrazi quite a bit, but um, I don't know. I, I, I was happy with the warships I ran um, beforehand. But then, at the tournament itself, it just did not pan out that well. So that was a little unfortunate, but I think that's just the nature of it, that sometimes you're going to get matches where it's amazing, and other times you're going to get matches where it's not. So. Um, and this hand seems pretty pretty good. We got turn two chalice or an arbiter depending on what's going on so we'll keep this. Drop the planes and ship it over. We got a mine stone. So let's drop that chalice. off it's gonna be rough hmm I'm gonna run out the displacer Scred red, I imagine, right? Glory bringer, oh my gosh. Are they gonna kill our displacer and then we're just gonna get wrecked here? This is this is not looking good, folks. Um, we could, they're going to be able to alt with cough. I think we're just dead. Uh, let's just get more information from them and just drop this thought on that. Blood Moon, Chandra, and Storm Breath as well. Yeah, we're just dead here. Okay. Yeah. 
Hmm. What an interesting deck. So I want to bring out the cast out. Warp and Whale should be pretty useless. Warp ships might have great value here. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass and Friction Revoker seem solid. And I think those are the main cards I want to bring in. Oh, and or Declaration and stuff as well. So we got those. Um, hmm. They don't have fetches to make Arbiter that useful. So we'd have to rely on Ghost Quarter to make them useful. So I think those are fine to take out. We'll bring these in. And then... Uh, one more card to cut. Let's take out a single Simi and bring in the cast out. Leave cast out? I think cast out's good here. I don't think we can keep this hand. It's got a ghost quarter, no other lands, and a simian. Oh, this hand seems rough. Uh, but I think we're. Thalia will slow them down quite a bit here. If we can get a second land, we'll be good. So I think we'll keep it. We'll bottom that. Drop this. Name human. Exile Simeon. Drop Thalia. Oh no, I wanted to bring it in. I wanted to bring in Cast Out, not take it out. Temple's good. Let's go Revoker. And we're going to actually go for Mind Stone here. Because I think I'll slow them down quite a bit if we hit that. Because I just want to kind of make them struggle with their mana. Goodbye, Thalia. Beats in. That's very fair. I guess we could have gone Spyglass first, Reese. And then that way we could have known what to name. Do they want to kill the Provoker? Yeah, they want to kill the Provoker. Hmm. I think we're still best off just... I don't think we care about the damage here. We're just going to smash them. And then we're going to drop a Thought Knot. See if they have any answers to what we got going on. We got a Dragon, Anger, and Koth. I don't think any of that really matters. They'd have to like have two spells for anger to be relevant. And then the dragon, they could hold back to block if they want to drop the land in that. Um, I think we'll take the dragon just to make sure. Like the only way they could stop us is just having the double spells. Oh my gosh, we're going to get punished so bad. They're going to double anger us. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. Holy crap. Oh, I cannot believe that just happened. All right, well. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just going to name Cough here. Uh, 
I cannot believe that just happened. That is that is so punishing. I didn't expect the double anger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Let's see if they have a way to deal with worship. Because <laughs> I don't think they do. And we need to just get a creature on board. And then we'll be in a happy spot. So, if we can get a creature on board, deal with Glorybringer, then we can't die. I don't even know. This is... This is... This is so bad. Uh, getting a creature on board and having a stick is going to be rough with Chandra, so it'd have to be like exactly Smasher and kill the Chandra. It, but if we get Smasher, we can't even cast it, so we have to get like the one of waste in our deck. We can't smash her! <laughs> and I can't cast it. Yeah, they can kill all our things. <laughs> okay. I need, I need the basic ways. Come on. If I can get basic waste, we win the game. Come on! Oh. Uh, are we dead? I think we're just dead. They're gonna shoot us for two, and then they're gonna actually cough, and then they're gonna swing us for eight. I cannot believe we lost because we didn't take out the anger. Ah! Oh, I'm so sad with life. I'm so sad. Oh my gosh, we had this game. This was our game. <laughs> we had that. Oh my gosh. My life is meaningless. Oh. Oh, why? Why are we punished so badly? I, I should have just taken the anger. I, I think they even said, okay, the only way they're going to get us is they just double cast them. <sighs> man, oh man. I should retire. I should be done. Like, I told my team that I was going to retire because I got uh, 33rd in the tournament yesterday on Breakers. Oh. I really should have quit while I was undefeated. That would have been key, Bism. All right, this is pretty solid. We're on the uh, the draw, but we got Temple, Ghost Quarters, um, we got a turn 2 Chalice into a turn 3 Thought Knot, so that's pretty sweet. Chalice is significantly worse against Wild X. And it definitely looks like we're against Spirits here. And they don't have a turn to play. I guess that's good for us. I'm still going to run out the Chalice. My magic skills are as good as my Warframe skills. I'm pretty sure you still get carried by me every time we log on. Every time we log on, you get carried by me. I don't even know why you're talking trash right now. I'm not even sure what you do in our groups. I think you just stand there.
Well, all their stuff's untouchable now, folks. In case you were curious. This isn't great. Um, we can take the Reflector Mage. So then they don't bounce our stuff, but that company is going to do great work for them. <sighs> They're going to bash us for six. Okay. Not taking the company is like a huge gamble, because if they hit that land, we're going to get really punished. Um, they can hit more Lords or just the other Reflector Mage. So... What's the worst they can do in our turn? They can reflect your thought not back to our hand. And then we drop the, um, the Smasher, hit them. They're going to 6 us, bring us down to 14. In the final turn, we're down to 8. It's a really losing pace if we don't do that. Geist is also rough because it's going to be a 4-4 four, four beater um, that we'd have to block. Hmm. Uh, okay, I think we're going to have to take the Reflector because we have to just bank on them not hitting land because I think our best bet of winning right now is to just race them with Smasher. Cool. They path got countered. They can drop in the Geist. Hit us for six, bring us down to 14. Can we even swing? Like, if we swing with Thought Knot and Reality Smasher. They're going to hit us for four, 10, 14 exactly. So we can't even swing with the Thought Knot. I guess we can just hold it back and block. But if we do that, we're going to lose. Right? If we don't swing with the Thought Knot, um, we can't race them. Swing out. Yeah, it's, it's 14, so. Hmm. What a predicament. I think we're just going to go with the Smasher and hope they don't swing with guys. So if they do swing with guys, we'll have to block with the Thought Knot. That's not good either. Have to block. And I have no idea what we could draw to keep us in this game. That's not it, though. Okay, okay. A bit rough. Let's see. So, the Warping Whales have some value. They can take out very specific creatures, but I think because it's it can only hit so many creatures, it's really not worth it. Um, so I'd rather just take it out of our main. Um, Thalias don't seem that great against this deck. It's kind of slowed down their vials. Yeah, I agree with you, Reese. I, I think I think Settle would be great in this deck. Um, I don't think the, the chalices are solid because if we can drop it on turn one, we're going to be able to stop their vial, stop their pass, stop their mausoleum wanderers. Um, so I'm being on the play here. I think we'll keep it. I 
think we're, well, Thalia is the same thing. They, that can slow them down quite a bit too. I want to bring in the Revokers and the Spyglass. I want to bring in all these. Maybe not the cast out. That'll be a little bit slower. Hmm. No, I think we're going to take out the Thalias. And we'll run it like this. This hand's got a turn two Displacer and a turn three Thought Knots. So I think this is good. We could take out one Caverns. It's not a bad call. I really hate messing with the land bases in too many decks, but I think this will. This is one deck that I think can sustain it. Vile. Oh, we, we're just good at this game. We got, we got turn two thought that. Path and Queller. Let's take the path. Pass it back to them. Because then they're just going to be able to go land and drop in the Noble. And then we'll Thought Knot the uh, Queller here. left. They got three lands in hand and then whatever they just drew. Or a thought not. I guess we're okay with that. If that's what they want to do. Who they're gonna image? Seems pretty good. All right. So here, I think we're just gonna drop our displacer. Because we can blink their reflector and kill that. tokens on okay we will gladly take the three got a smasher mm -hmm. I think just smashing here is gonna be our best bet there's just not really a need to go any other route because we just want to finish off the game pretty quick here and we'll drop the arbiter as well They got a Queller. Oh, they got another Reflector Mage. Okay. And I don't think we want to swing. We want to keep our Displacer alive. Take that three again. Okay. I imagine I'd like to be able to displace it with Nina, so I'm gonna go with the thought knot here. 
It shouldn't have anything. Oh, just lands in hand? Yeah, it just lands in hand. If we swing with Displacer, if they go for the double block, we can blink the token. So I think that's going to be just fine. themselves another token if they want here. And that's what they'll do. <laughs> Canopy draw. What you got? A lord, okay. And I'll take three in the air. I think we're going to drop a Smasher here because they got two lands in hand. And we're going to swing with a Thought Knot and the Smasher. If they want to do any, I don't think they can do really do anything here with the blocks to be of relevance. Yep, we're good with that. If we really need to, we can Simeon Spirit Guide and Displace or something, but I think we're going to be fine. Debatably here, we just want to do it on their upkeep. No, I think I think we're okay not to. We can Displace anything that's really of importance, so we can get rid of a token if we really need to to get, you know reduce the amount of damage we'll take. Wanderer is fine. Shouldn't matter. I think we're just gonna blink a token. Take less damage. And we can blink two different things. We can blink their Supreme Phantom and a Wanderer. I think we're just going to swing out, though. keep the Arbiter alive. I think we're fine with trading it. So let's go to damage. Pretty much wipe their board. And then they're just going to be able to create tokens here and we can just get rid of the tokens. So I don't think we really care here how they wanted to approach this. Because they got a bunch of 1-1 one -one tokens and we're just going to blink two of them away on their turn and then the two of them away. So. We're going to run that back. This is a pretty slow hand. We got double smashes with no temples. Um, we can gemstone out turn zero and get rid of the smasher so we can get a turn two displacer. That doesn't seem terrible. Not great by any means, though. So, hmm. I think we'll still keep it though, because we. I think the uh, the gemstone play here is good enough to push us out.
decoration is still pretty solid. If we draw a temple here, that'd be cool because we can drop a displacer. Nope. Pass it back. I think the card I still want to see the most is the temple. Oh, we have a pathos. Okay. Well, I guess we'll grab a planes. How rude. I feel like we should just get rid of that before they can image it. Um, but if we go for the declaration and they respond phantasmal image, that will be pretty bad. So let's thought that. Huh? Company, company, and a vial. So we're going to take a company. Drop the land and we'll pass it over. We need them not to hit a land right now. I think we're just going to get rid of the other Coco. Okay, if they want to call us, that's fine. He can Declaration of Stone the Drog Skull swing for. Four. Yeah, I think that's where we want to be. Forced on to eleven. If we drop Smasher and attack, do they have enough in the sky to kill us? No, they only have eight, unless they draw another Lord. And they have to block at least the Thought Knot, but they can just block it with the Noble. They could double block the selfless and the drug skull onto the thought knot and trade, but I don't think they'll do that. No, well, maybe they will. Sack the selfless spear, keep the drug skull alive. Or do they want to trade and get the card? Because I feel like you just throw the noble in front of it and see if you can get a lord off the top of the deck and win the game.
Sure. Oh, they just wanted to trade. I think we are very okay with that. Alright, they can Coco now. Hope it's a good Coco, because otherwise you're dead. Hope it's not like a Reflector Mage. Okay, we're okay with that. Another Supreme Phantom. Wow. Our opponent's so good at this. So if they just like hold back, I don't think we can swing through and then we just die. Ugh. Chalice does nothing. We can draw a card with Canopy. See what we hit. Chef at Dunes does a whole lot of nothing. We could have used the warship. Hmm. We can swing and say, see if they do a really bad block. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a promising way to win the game. Um, hmm. I think that's our out right now, though. Oh, Sheffidon is a sorcery speed. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Ugh. Okay. That was my bad. I did not realize Chef of Dunes was sorcery speed only. I thought it was uh, instant speed. Because that would be much cooler. It didn't really matter because we were just dead. I don't, I don't think there's a way to get out of that unless we top deck the Warship there. Warship would have saved us. At least buy us some turns until we can figure out how to kill them, but was not looking good. Okay, turn to Thalia into a Displacer. That's okay. It's not really where we want to be. I'm just going to lead off with the planes here. And top bird. Every time I see a turn one bird, I just hold my opponents on Vanifar. Because <laughs> I really want that deck to be good. It's a lot of fetches so far. Here it is. Into another birds. Oh my gosh, so much ramp. All right, opponent, what six drop do you got for us? I cannot wait to arbiter them.
And they're really confused by what they want to tap for mana. Fell and our guardian. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get fell and our combo right now. I don't think it's just Guy Ascendancy. I really do feel like it's just fell in our combo. Fortunately for us, Displacer is good against that. So, unfortunately for us, we can't swing. Because none of our creatures are going to get through. They're still very confused on how to tap. Another fell at our guardian, okay. Well, as of right now, those are big enough walls to prevent us from doing anything, so. Well, there's Sahili. So if we target their fell at our guardian in response to this, it's just going to blink it anyway. So th and then it comes back in to play, and that's going to do the effect anyway. So we can only hope that they target the wrong thing and target a token. I think that's the only way we're going to stop this. They're just blinking. <laughs> I don't think we can stop this as a result right now. Sahili comboed, folks, because it's happening right now. Target permanent control. I guess now we're just waiting to see if they make enough tokens for us to blink and block and still get them. I imagine they're smart enough to do this. Yeah, let's just concede. We, we, we lost this one. Um, so we're going to bring in the Friction Revoker and the Spyglass for sure. 
Um, we're going to bring in the Takatles as well. Cast Out seems solid. The Warping Wheel seemed good to take out a lot of their creature threats. Being on the play Chalice seems fine. We're going to take out a lot of their Mana Dorks to accelerate them, which is, seems pretty good. Um, Thalia Heretic's good because it'll stop their combo and their tracks. Thalia doesn't seem great. I think we're going to take out an Endbringer as well as to get more interaction. I don't think we need both Smashers because I really just am worried about stopping their combo and then we can win through our, the remaining creatures we have. So. Double Spirit Guide for a turn to Thought Knot. Huh. Okay. We'll do it. Why couldn't you be one turn earlier? <laughs> All right, we're gonna drop the chalice. If they get any of the mana dorks, they'll keep them stuck in their hand. It's a Healy. That's so rude, opponent. Since you're so rude, I guess we're just gonna smash her it. Drop the thought knots, see what they got going on. Eldritch, Eldritch Rallier. I guess the only thing we really care about are multiple Eldritches to get them out of this. So they get a land. Do they want to run out the rally here? Man ramp themselves a bit? Or just go for the evolution? Yeah, they're gonna go rally here. Alright, they can cord for one. Or they can go for the evolution right now.
Right, they're not gonna go for that, which is good with us. I think we're just going to run out the Arbiter. Kara says I look fly in the hat. Thank you. I like this out. He's got it. They're gonna core for one in response. They want to burn that bad. Okay. All right, so we take them off two sets of lands here if we want, and we'll leave them with just the, um, just like a force. We can take out the breeding pool, the planes, pass it over to them. they misclick and don't pay for the Arbiter here before they cast Evolution, they'll be really bad for them. And if they do it properly, they'll still be pretty tapped out. They'll have one creature in play. Because I'll have to tap out the bird and the bird for pay for the Arbiter. Tap the other th uh, two lands and the Caridon. And then they could sack... Um, if they sack one of the Mana Dorks, then they'll have the whatever they're gonna fetch up plus the rallier. If they sack the rallier, they'll just have just the one creature. So either way, pretty rough spot for them. Okay, they gotta fill it R. Seems good. They can uh, use the rallier and get back a land. And then pass it back to us. Is that their plan? I think they're still dead. Because they have to like double up the Peladar and Rallyer onto Smasher, otherwise the, um, the trample damage will bleed over, so. Got there, folks. I do want to trim, hmm, let's bring in the warships, take out the chalices, and then bring back in the smashers and take out the chalices. Being on the, um, being on the draw here, I don't really care about the chalices. It's going to be hard to, um, cast them, because they're going to drop their mana dork turn one, so then it's going to be just extremely low value, I think, after that. This hand is not great. We got one land. Bunch of. Yeah, I don't think we can keep this. Oh, man. This hand's rough. We're going to keep it, though. Bottom of that. We would love to see a white source. Uh, I believe you can just load it up. It's on Stream Decker right now. Evolution. Let's take the Felidar. Leave them with the Evolution. Yeah. 
Alright, they got five lands in hand and an evolution. If they want, they can cast the evolution right now and go get a four drop. I just don't know if they have a four drop they want to get. We would really like a white source. Dropping the Leon and Arbor is going to choke their mana a bit along with their evolution. Dropping the Thalia would also be really strong to stop their combo. So. Alright, they're going to go for the evolution. So they're going to spend their efforts on? I don't know if that's worth it. Is this really worth all of that? I don't, I don't think so. So they have to block the Thought Knot, they'll go to one. We will drop a Displacer and pass it back to them. And I'm pretty sure that's game, because we've got four mana available to them. Yeah. See you guys, we're so good at this. <laughs> that hand was so sketchy. <laughs> Um, I can play Mono White Control. Uh, Andrew also asked for me to play Affinity, so I'm open to either. What do you guys feel like seeing next? This hand has so much potential here. If you're on the play, it'd just be a little bit better. Um, I think we're gonna keep this. The potential draw all draws these with these temples is just so good. You do so much damage against them. And we draw Cat Jesus, so. Let's just lead off with the temple, because if there's a chance we get we draw the thought knot here. Uh, I don't know. Is Andrew are you even on? If Andrew's not on, we can just play a, a different deck. Squadron Hawk. Oh my goodness, what is this? I'm so excited for Squadron Hawk. Hmm. 
Hmm. If we, like, drop Leo and an Arbiter, they could, like, Field of Ruin us, and then nobody gets lands. Hmm. Maybe that's worth it, because in the following turn, we can go Ghost Quarter and take them off another land. Sure. Let's... Let's gamble a bit. Let's see what happens. Do they want to take us both off lands? Because I think we're just fine with that. They want to hit one of our lands. We'll drop the ghost quarter, take them off another land. Yeah, okay. I'm going to exile... Simeon here, tap that for white, drop a Thalia. Haha, <laughs> they didn't pay for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Swing with the cat Jesus, but I will swing with Thalia. <laughs> All right, let's drop just a. Uh, doesn't really matter what we drop here, we're taking damage. So yeah, let's run out a Thalia. Let's let's do some swinging. All right, I think that's another martyr. Oh my gosh, she's so good at this. on one that we can't play until next turn. <laughs> Bummer. All right, they got double Squadron Hawk, double Ghostly Prison, and a Ranger of Eos in hand. Squad Hawk. They can't search. Alright, Chalice. So we'll Chalice here on one. Bunch more life. They also got a day of judgment now. Not good. But they also aren't hitting land drops. Go chalice on two. They're gonna force off Charmos, how rude.
We need them not to hit a land. They're gonna ghostly prison. I think we're just swinging. prison. Alright, we're gonna hold the smasher here because in case they drop a um, that Wrath of God, we'll want to make sure we can actually drop a threat afterwards. So we're just gonna swing here and we're just gonna have to swing with a Thalia, deal them three. Swing with Thalia. If they tap off or anything, we're gonna go to Ghost Court of them, which will be cool. Displacer. Same thing. I don't want to really run out more threats right now. They definitely did. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> uh, oh, that's that's so rude of us. <laughs> oh man. Okay. What do we want to bring in? Uh, rest in peace, not relevant. Stony's not relevant. I don't really want to bring in the Tacatles. Stopping their squadron hawks not really that big of a deal. Um, Declaration of Stones potential. Warping Whales are a potential. Um, the Spyglass and the Revoker, maybe? I don't think so, though. Um, warships don't seem bad. I don't know if they have a way to deal with that. But they got wraths and they got rules, so maybe not. <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> uh, I think I want to bring in the cast out just in case they bring in anything in, um, oddball. So, um, take out possibly the ghostly prison or anything else they might have. So, I think that's the only thing I really want to bring in. Mm -hmm. No, I want to bring in the Warping Wheels as well, actually. What also stops Ranger, Reese?
Oh, you're talking about the Takatl? Yeah, I, it does, but it's just a matter of whether or not we value our thought knots more. We value our thought knots more than I don't think the Takatls are worth it. Or the Takatli. I think I'm gonna take out the the Thalia Heretics and bring in one cast out and one warping whale. And I think that's it. I, I think the Cut Simeons, no. I think Simeons are actually really important for our deck. Hmm. This hand's not great. Like, we can get a turn two Chalice. And then Dismember can deal with their stuff. And then the only other thing we really have is Asthalia. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we're going to ship this hand. This hand's a little bit riskier, but uh, it's got Cat Jesus. I love Cat Jesus. Um, we're going to be able to just play lands, pass it back, see if we can get catch him off guard. We go squad and hawk. Yeah, we go squad and hawk. Man, if we were on the play with this Cat Jesus, we would have been great. I do not want to dismember the squadron hawk. Let's just run out Cat Jesus. Squad Hawk? Nope, they just want to gain the life right now. And then drop a Sarah Send it. Well, that's not good for us. Um. Hmm. Hmm. This. We'll be able to hold it off with this Displacer. We can swing into it with Arbiter and then dismember it. Let's see if they take that. They do not. So then we will just drop the displacer. I'd rather run out the displacer, to be honest. I feel like. Um, We'll be able to hold off the Sarah Ascendant's attacks if we do it that way. Because if we don't, we're, we would be taking 12 before we can do anything else. Because now we can swing. They shouldn't be able to block us other than just chump blocking, which is fine. And then we're going to be able to blink that Sarah Ascendant. Hollowed burial right now? No. That's crazy, right? Okay, they're just they're just doing some fetching. Okay. Um if they drop Sun Titan, that's gonna be pretty bad for us. So I think our bet here is to th actually have to thought not them. They'd have to draw the land for that sun titan, but it'd be rough if they got it. Where if they uh, cast like the 
But the hollow burial is not that big of a deal. They're gonna have to hit us here. Not good. So we can swing here. Um, after all of that, we can um, chalice for one, and then we can blink our thought knot and take their hollow burial from them. No, we'll have to not do the chalice on one because we're going to have to blink our thought knot and take their hollow burial, but we're also going to have to blink in their Sarah Ascendant. So we're going to stop on their draw step here, and we're going to swing with our team. Ghost quarter us right now. Okay. So we're just going to have to tap it for mana. And not search. We'll Ranger into double one drops, that's gonna be rough too. But I think that's fine. We'll take a hollow burial. And then we'll blink their Sarah. They may take us off another lane here if they go for the field of ruin option instead of the ranger. But I think they'll ranger and get their one drops, but who knows. Because if they don't, there's, a, you know, yeah, I think they would, right? They'd have to, like, burn a lot of mana. They'd have to, like, take off their whole turn if they want to go for the field of rune play, unless they're okay with losing the land. Yeah, okay. They're just going to take off their turn, I guess, for, other than drop the squad hawk. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty good for us. So they've got a ranger and a hex parasite in play. We're going to chalice for one, turn off the ranger eos triggers along with the hex parasite. Swing out with the team. Sarah. They can Ranger. They paid for it. They'll get their one drops. That's fine. Chalice will stop that business. Martyr, Martyr. All right. Downside here is that we can no longer swing with uh, Arbiter or Displacer. And I don't think we can swing with the Thought Knot either. Unless we want to dismember, pay for life. That might be the back, because we have to kind of just race them right now. Otherwise, we're going to lose this game. Because if we just hold that completely, we're going to lose.
Sword of Light and Shadow. That's what I'm talking about, opponent. That's dope. Well, we're going to blink you in response, though. I hope you're okay with that. Just, that's never going to get equipped. It's just not a thing. Okay, we can cast them out here, get rid of the Sarah Ascendant, and that way we don't have to keep blinking it. We can do it on their turn, though. Ghostly Prison. Okay, opponent. Looks like we found a new cast out target. <laughs> I wonder if they realize they just have a 1 1 now. They, they do. Pay the two. We're gonna blank the ranger. They can pay the two. Because what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna drop a smasher and kill them. that league three two i kind of like this deck really do it seems pretty sweet all right um what do you guys want to see next i'm gonna stop this 